Hi, and welcome to the second installment in our three-part video series on Johnny Alf and Bossa Nova music. In this video, we will briefly examine the history of Bossa Nova, its cultural and political significance, and the core musical and stylistic elements of the genre. Bossa Nova originated on the beaches of the southern district of Rio de Janeiro amongst middle-class musicians and artists, and was officially recognized as Brazilian music in the 1960s. The genre saw its beginnings on a local scale, but its relevance to various musical and geographic settings quickly increased the significance of bossa nova to a global scale. Most commonly cited as the genre's creators are composer Antonio Carlos Jobim and guitarist vocalist Joao Gilberto, but there is significant discourse as to the centrality of pianist Johnny Alf's role in the conception of bossa nova. Also listed among sources as significant figures in the creation of Bossa Nova are Vinicius de Marias, Carlos Lira, Roberto Menescal, Silvia Teles, Alaide Costa, Baden Powell, Ronaldo Boscoli, Nara Leal, Luis Eca, and the Castro Neves brothers. The primary musical elements which make up this style are drawn from samba, another type of Brazilian popular music, and North American jazz. Bossa Nova began in the midst of a period of modernization in Brazil, spurred by the rapid economic growth, urbanization, and changes in thought which took place under the presidency of Juscelino Kubitschek. On a general scale, the birth of Bossa Nova was the result of a fast-paced, forward-thinking movement that was taking place at the time. Class structures were seeing drastic change in the midst of economic progression, and musical, architectural, and philosophical ideas of the previous decades were being questioned, making way for new ideas to emerge. Bossa Nova is a soft take on the samba, which, in addition to choro, was the primary form of popular music in Brazil at the time, which caused some to doubt the boss's potential for lasting past its initial popularity, stating that it was not new or original enough to outlast these existing styles. This opinion would prove to be vastly off base, as the bossa nova remains a staple of Latin jazz on a global scale to this day. So what was it that made the bossa nova so special in the midst of a storm of experimentation and new ideas, as well as a steady appreciation for its stylistic predecessors? According to Albrecht Moreno in a 1982 article entitled The Significance of Bossa Nova as a Brazilian Popular Music, its innovative harmonic structure included dissonant tones and frequent key changes. Its melodies and bass lines were enriched with chromatic notes. Its rhythms were complicated, unexpected, and yet typically Brazilian. The interpretations were soft and intimate, definitely in an anti-macho style. The orchestras were small, frequently just a guitar, constituting a less is more, or small is beautiful simplicity. And the lyrics attempted a directness and a sincerity that despite their inherent sentimentality, escaped the mawkishness that so frequently characterized the popular music of Latin America. According to Wilson Tremura's Reflections on Bossa Nova and Ageless Musical Style, the baseline accompaniment served to connect or to move the harmony, the harmony chromatically in a way that one could not notice, or to resolve musical cadences in the traditional way, giving an impression that the melody was always in search of an alternative ending or a surprising cadence. In contrast to typical jazz practices, bossa nova placed a heavier emphasis on melodic content than its harmonic counterpart. Additionally, despite improvisation being a primary practice in jazz, it has little to no presence within the realm of bossa nova, as the melody is designed to be static, complex, and self-contained. Another contribution by bossa nova to the jazz world was a consistent and prominent guitar presence, an instrument that was not, until this point, commonly employed within jazz settings. In contrast to samba, choro, and a majority of Brazil's popular music in the mid-1900s, the poetic lyrics and soft vocal stylings of bossa nova created an atmosphere of intimacy and ease. Tremura translates the 1998 Brazilian musical encyclopedia as defining bossa nova as a musical expression that generically designs a new way of doing something. Perhaps the most recognizable element of bossa nova is the style's characteristic syncopated pattern played on a standard drum set minus the typical presence of a bass drum, employing a brush on the snare and rim. Additionally, despite the importance of lyrical content, there's a distinct 
lack of emphasis on the part of the singer. Also notable is the divergence of the bossa nova vocalist's approach from the practices of the bel canto style, bel canto being Italian for beautiful singing, which emphasized perfectly executed technique, pristine enunciation, and demonstration of a wide vocal range, which oftentimes formed a kind of standard for determining vocal skill. Bossa Nova, in contrast, features a soft, easy singing style, often without vibrato and on the same plane as, if not secondary to, the instruments that accompany it. On the whole, Bossa Nova was responsible for breaking through the walls of previous thought and practice, introducing a new approach to jazz and samba, and opening up the potential for a new kind of social experience on both a global and local level. This style of music represented the progressive thinking and creative expression of the young privileged members of Brazilian society in the 1950s, as well as a forward moving nation that embraced Bossa Nova along with a multitude of new ideas and practices that accompanied it. However, though Bossa Nova saw lasting widespread success in amidst a vast array of musical influences, it did not replace or stand in the way of the other significant Brazilian musical stylings of the time. Thank you for joining us in this installment of our video series on Bossa Nova music and Johnny Alf. And please join us next time for our third and final video in the series.